Welcome to the Virtual Fracture Clinic, an innovative way of managing acute orthopaedic injuries. My name is Lucy Arnott and I am an extended scope physiotherapist. The Virtual Fracture Clinic has successfully managed thousands of patients using virtual consultations and a shared care approach. Our objective is to provide you with high quality information so that you can best manage your injury and reduce the need of coming into hospital. We have designed this protocol as evidence suggests that patients typically only retain 10% of the information given to them in the traditional clinic setting. We understand that having an injury has a significant impact on your life, so I've designed this video series to explain to you the type of injury that you've sustained and to guide you through your rehabilitation and management from the comfort of your own home. Hi, I'm James. I'm an orthopaedic consultant and I regularly manage patients with your type of injury. I'm here to guide you through the details of your injury, the treatment required and give you your recovery plan. You have sustained an injury to your elbow and whilst we cannot see a fracture, your x-ray does suggest swelling within the joint which can mean there is a small underlying occult fracture. An example of this is demonstrated now on the screen. This is a common injury and it will heal itself naturally with the passage of time. This normally takes approximately six weeks. Pain and swelling are present in the early stages and can be present for three to six months. You may need to take painkillers or anti-inflammatories, especially in the early stages. The swelling is often worse at the end of the day and elevating it will help. Guidance on further initial management will be covered by Lucy later. You will have been provided with a sling. This is for your comfort only and does not aid the healing. This should be removed regularly to perform the exercises that Lucy will go through later. We do not routinely follow up patients with this type of injury. If however after three months you're still experiencing significant pain and swelling, then please do not hesitate to contact us for a further consultation. We would also like you to contact us if you're experiencing significant pain or symptoms away from the site of the injury. One of the only things we know that can slow down healing is smoking. If you do smoke it would be advisable to stop, at least for the duration of the healing process. Further information on how to stop smoking can be found on the NHS Smoke Free website or be obtained from your GP. You can start driving again when you can comfortably control the car and swerve out of the way in an emergency. Obviously you can't drive if you're still in the sling. You can return to work when you feel comfortable and sports can be resumed at six weeks. Bear in mind though that pain and swelling can be ongoing when you resume impact activities. I'm now going to hand you back to Lucy who will guide you through your rehabilitation. We're now going to teach you some simple exercises to help you to recover from your upper limb injury. The first phase of your rehabilitation is about acute swelling and pain management. An ice pack or frozen peas wrapped in a tea towel can be applied to the area that you have injured. We would advise to apply this for 15 minutes at a time only and this can be repeated about four to five times every day. We would always advise that you wrap the peas in a tea towel so that you avoid any direct contact with your skin. You should really try to rest the arm for the first 24 to 72 hours. The sling provided offers a good resting splint for your arm, but when you are sitting comfortably you can remove this and use a pillow to support your arm, which will give your neck some relief from not wearing the sling all the time. It's really important in the first stage of your rehabilitation to remove your sling to do the following exercises three to four times a day. The first exercise is for your hand and wrist. You can move your wrist in an upwards and downwards position getting a good stretch at that joint. You can also use your fingers to make your fist and splay your fingers. Once you can do this without any pain you can use a pair of socks that you put into a ball add some resistance to this exercise. This is really good to help with reducing the swelling that you may get in your hand. The next exercise is for your elbow. Okay, You need to practice straightening your elbow and bending it towards your mouth. You may find this a little bit difficult in the early stages but it's important to slowly increase the range of movement that you get every day. The elbow also works in rotation, so the other way to exercise your hand is to move your hand from facing palm up to palm down. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any further questions with regards to your injury or your rehabilitation, please do not hesitate to contact us.
Because we value your opinion, in the future we may ask you for some patient satisfaction information. We would really appreciate if you could let us know how you found this service so that we can help model it for future patients.